In this video, we are going to talk about how to choose right API Gateway platform. So let's get started. If you are new to Byte programming and do not want to miss any updates, remember to subscribe. There are many providers of API Gateway platform, but the core functionality of API Gateway consists of routing and acting as a reverse proxy server. So if you look at the major players, it could be Amazon that could provide AWS Gateway, it could be APG that is owned by Google, it could be API Man, it could be Nginx, Microsoft Azure API Gateway is based on Nginx, it could be Kong that is an open source API Gateway. So these API Gateway providers in addition to routing and acting as proxy server also provides a various API management functionalities from scaling, authentication, logging. So let's have a look at the parameters that need to be considered for choosing an API gateway platform. If we talk about the parameters, the first parameter that should be considered is that it is cloud-based or on-premise infrastructure. Nowadays, most of the applications are moving towards microservice and cloud-based architecture. This is because through cloud-native application design and architecture or cloud-based environment, we can access it through anywhere and with any devices, whether it could be mobile app, web app client. For example, Kong is based on on-premise infrastructure. Amazon AWS is based on cloud platform that is a PaaS model. Next parameter is documentation and training. There should be a good quality of documentation and training that should help developers as well as system administrators to set up the API gateway platform. Complexity. Again, one should consider this because this would be a single node deployment or it could be a cluster consisting of multiple node deployment. So in terms of complexity, there should be an easy learning curve, there should be an easy installation process. Next is open source or licensed. There could be open source API gateway platforms like Kong or it could be licensed like uh, APG. So if you are going for license, it may involve initial cost or maybe uh, if you're going for an open source then it should be factor uh, like a community should be large then plugins should be available then proper documentation should be there so if it is open source we should consider also the community support offered by the open source community whether the plugins are available or not for different kind of service that could be treated as resources or there are large documentations available and community is very active for development of that open source product for the API gateway. Next is cost. Now the cost is a very important factor because it involves two types of cost. First is initial cost means if you're cloud based there should be a initial fee charge or if you're on premise there could be a cost for licensing the products and another part of cost would be maintenance cost over time. Next parameter is portability. The portability means whether there is a vendor lock-in period or not. So if in future, if I am migrating from one API gateway platform to another, what are the cost I would incur whether I should have any lock-in period for the current vendor or not? Is it easy to switch to another vendor or not? or my application or my APIs are dependent on the current vendor or not. So these parameters we should need to consider in terms of the portability while choosing an API gateway platform. Functionality. I should consider this as one of the most important point for choosing an API gateway platform along with cost and community support. This is because the functionality is the main concern that should be offered by API Gateway. We all know all the API Gateway would you offer you routing and acting as a reverse proxy server. 
but apart from that there are a wide range of functionality that could be offered as a part of API management it could be uh, scaling it could be authentication and authorization it could be logging it could be caching and caching a strategy it could be orchestration of your services it could be payload transformation from payload transformation we means request is coming in uh, for example json format and you need to convert it to xml format it could be analytics also so all these are important in terms of api management so all these parameters i need to consider while choosing an api gateway out of which the most important are functionality offered open source or licensed cost involved portability also in the comment section i have tried to share my experience on choosing different api gateway platform and what are the parameters we have looked for while choosing this api gateway provider so this was all about how to choose an api gateway platform